Oh, just spent five minutes talking, guys, and the camera wasn't on. <laughs> oh, God. It's too hard some days. Uh, okay, so I was just saying, I, there's a couple of onions I'm going to harvest today and put in the shed with the others to dry. But after my deforestation last week, look at the courgettes coming through. They get a little bit more sun and a bit more light. And just wow. I will be picking them, take them home, wash them, grate them, and then in the freezer bags, just put in a handful, two handfuls, large handfuls, into the freezer bags, put them in your dinner. You don't know you're eating courgette. I like courgette, but I mean, if you wanted to just get more veg in the children or, or people that need it, Pete made a uh, shepherd's pie two nights ago. We put in two handful handfuls of courgette didn't even know it was in there. Didn't even know it takes on all the flavours. Anyway, here's the beans. I picked two and they are for keeping seeds to um, dry out and plant next year. I think that's how you do it. I'll have to Google it later. I was saying this side of the frame, so here's the sun, sort of up there somewhere, obviously. <laughs> Where else would it be? Uh, um, this side of the frame has done better than that side of the frame. But although we're seeing some really big ones like that, I'm going to harvest that one later. You have to Google how to freeze them. Um, there's another couple I've seen that I will harvest to eat. There's a couple on there to eat, or well, like I say, to freeze. We'll see. I'm just. No, I didn't. I just thought we'd have more. If we like these really big ones we've had, I just thought we'd have a lot more ready to pick. But um, I thought, can you see them? There they are. See, it's really tiny. It's still only tiny. I'm not sure. Is that normal? Uh, but yeah. Is this just a later in the year crop? I'm just surprised we've got so there's got quite a few big ones at the bottom. And then, I mean, look at the size of that one. I should pick that one as well and save them seeds. So we'll see. We'll see. It's our first year of growing. We don't know. My gorgeous cucumber plant. With my gorgeous little cucumber under there doing blooming lovely. This needs a bit of weeding today. I'll do that as well. Uh, so I hope we get a few cucumbers out there. Flowers doing beautiful as usual. I do love a flower or two. Although they're being slugged. Oh yeah, look. Oh, who are you? Having a munch. Little caterpillar. Get off. I'm going to sage. Got a great big sage plant next to me. You can sit there. Oh look, they're all there. Yeah, I suppose it's better them eating them than the veg. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Stop eating my food. Um, and then here's the bed finished. So it's six bags of 40 litres. Uh, I reckon another two or three bags. And I put some fish, no, chicken pellets on it. Chicken manure pellets, yeah, that. They are the. Are they again? I think these, they're the small, are they needles? Oh, with the Brussels, there's the Brussels. So four of them have taken, lovely. There are some little leaks coming through. Tiny little things for Christmas, I hope. There's more leaks. Uh, the potatoes are coming up. You can see the potatoes, there's four planted there. Maris Pipers, so I've earthed them back up, and these are some cauliflowers in there, apparently, somewhere. I'm not convinced. And Swede, which are coming up, and then that ends some carrots, but I haven't seen any of that. So that's that for the minute. Uh, so lots more watering to do and some weeding to do.